Hey there, tube lovers. Uh, today we are going to bias up these VTL MV450 monoblock power amps. Um, as I uh, go into the inside of the amp here, you can see that I've got the tube cage off and you can see the tube complement here. These are, you know, pretty powerful amps. They use uh, 86550 tubes and they have a rated output in tetrode mode of 450 watts into 8 ohms. Um, Today, or a couple weeks ago, when I um, rebiased and cleaned up and tested all the tubes, I found a couple weak tubes. And so I've replaced these two smaller tubes in the center here. One of them is a 12AT7, and the other is a 6350 tube. And those are the um, driver and uh, phase splitter tubes. And I don't expect there to be a big difference in the bias because these tubes um, we're not adjusting the bias on. They are just other points in the circuit. But I've got the amp open. It's fairly easy to do this. It just takes a few minutes. And so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, you can see here probably that I've already put the negative probe from my voltmeter into the negative test position. And up here, I've got my digital voltmeter, and I've got it set in the 2-volt range, and um, uh, it's on DC. Now, before you do that, you should probably check your owner's manual to see what the correct bias settings are for you. In my case, the manufacturer rep recommends 275 to 300 millivolts to bias each one of the tubes. And they say if it's within 10 or 15 percent of that, you're good. Um, anything more, and you should uh, probably contact the manufacturer because there could be a problem. So I'm going to start off by putting the probe here into the first test position, meaning I'm biasing the first tube. And if we look up at the meter, we can see it's at 298, which is within the rep, uh, recommended range. I've decided um, to bias all my tubes at 290 millivolts. So I'm, I'm again, I'm within tolerance, but I'm going to just adjust this one so that I get it right down to the 290 that all my other tubes, well, that I'm going to set them all together at. And sometimes takes a second here to get the tube there. Or, and I can say that this adjustment is very sensitive, so you barely have to turn it to get it um, down to what you want. And there I have it pretty much at my 290 millivolt range. And that's about it. Now I just go through and I go to each one of the other test positions for each of the other tubes and do the same thing, moving my uh, probe along as I do it. Um, I should mention I've had these amps on for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. So the tubes have warmed up. They are uh, stable at this point. You should do that before you test tubes um, if you want to get a good stable reading for, that will be like it is when you're playing them. Uh, I should also mention that um, there's high voltages in these amps. There's generally not any here on top, but you should be careful. Um, the tubes are hot as well. And you can burn your hands and, um, you know, actually damage the tubes, too, if you are careless in here. So um, be careful. But um, do bias your amp to get it to keep it in best uh, sound, best performing uh, state. And then when you're all done, put on a nice uh, piece of music and enjoy it. Uh, so I hope you have a great day. This is Bruce. See you later.